What I've realized when it comes to meditating is that if you go into meditating thinking I'm going to just clear my head and think nothing, you will fail, you will be discouraged, and you're not going to do it again. Here's how I do it and how you should try it too. First of all, when I meditate, it is a moment with God. God, everything he's created, everything he's done for me, everything he stands for, and everything that I want to become, embrace, and evolve into. That's what meditating is for me. It's also a moment to calm down my nervous system because when we have a calm nervous system, we go through life more consciously because we're able to tap into our unconscious beliefs and actions that are either serving us or not serving us. So what we want to embrace or let go of. So what you want to think about is one, gratitude. What am I grateful for today? Then you want to think about what is God saying to me personally and just receive. Palms open to receive God's message. Not what some man wrote or woman in their workbook, but what God personally wants to say to you. We need to be away from our phones, away from our computers, away from work, away from our spouses, kids, dogs, whatever. Um, well, I mean, you can keep the pets around. <laughs> but the next thing you want to focus on is what do I feel? What do I smell? What do I hear? And then you want to, you want to like look at your thoughts, observe them from a higher ground or just a removed ground. So you have a negative thought or one that maybe you've just kept thinking again and again and again. And when you realize I have already had this thought, I've already explored this, why am I thinking it again? This is when you can decide to envision that thought as a cloud just passing by. And you say to yourself, I've seen this cloud, goodbye cloud and you just let it go by left to right just let it move on okay the next thing you can focus on are the things that are triggering to you not just your regular thoughts but the things that make you feel some type of way what you want to do is go into that triggered triggered state sit with the emotions and then release Really feel that emotion though, really embody it and really admit to yourself how you authentically feel, not how you want to feel yet, that's later, just how you authentically feel. And allow your body to bring up to the surface what it wants to tell you and then you can decide how you want to move with that. Um, and your options include praying about it, or deciding what you're going to do about it. You can role play in your head actions you might want to take, or you can just simply ask questions. Okay, that's the next thing you want to do. Just ask questions and be willing to receive, not in the moment of your meditation practice, but as the day goes on, as the days go by, and as the weeks come, then you will notice that you are receiving an answer to what you asked for. I myself have been in a very spiritual practice um, as of late just to revamp things and keep things fresh and you know where they need to be. And I have received so many blessings, you guys. Having moments with God is so important, okay? Really seeing what's on your heart, checking with what's in your soul, connecting with God. It can really transform your life. I cannot stress this enough and I will not be quiet about it because of how transformative it has been in my life and I want it to be so in your life too. So go ahead, have your moment with God and really embrace what comes. I'm the Unique Shanique and I'm complete.